Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yvette and I am part of the Not Too Shabby Shop design team. Today I wanted to do a bit of a project share. I made four cards using this beautiful pattern paper from this month's box of the month. It is the Outdoor Adventures pattern paper. And then I also used this stamp set, which is in the box of the month. It is the Wanderlust Adventures stamp set. Now I like this stamp set and I knew right away when I saw it that these silhouette images would be perfect for stamping on some background panels I already have in my stash. So let me show you what uh, I used from the Outdoor Adventures paper pad. I used three different pieces of pattern paper to make my cards. So I used this one that has kind of a blue stripe watercolorish look to it. And this is the reverse side of it. And then I used this one that has kind of a, a green and um, I guess earth tone ombre look to it. And then that's the reverse side of that one. And then I use this pattern paper that's like this old world style map on it. Really pretty. And that's the reverse side of that one. So let me show you the cards that I made. The first two cards I made, I used the beautiful silhouette image, which is this let me show you the wolf on top of a mountain with a nice little tree line behind it. And I stamped that on these um, background panels that I had in my stash. And I made these background panels using some of the Los Lindy's magical powders. So I had these and I thought, you know what, these would be perfect. I'm going to stamp this image using my VersaFine Clair ink. And then I went over that with some black embossing powder. So I think it turned out really pretty. Um, and then I did stamp on the pattern papers that I chose. I used some of those small images in the stamp set. So I used this trio of stars as well as the crescent moon to add a little bit of pattern to that uh, pattern paper. And then I use the sentiment which says explore, dream, discover. So I think they turned out really pretty. Oh, I also did a little bit of ink blending with uh, one of my gray brushes using just the leftover ink on the brush just to kind of tone down the pattern paper a bit. Let me kind of show you the original tones see how that's a little bit brighter and how that's a little bit brighter so I kind of toned them down with some ink blending around the edges and then I just noticed this I put this one on a little askew but you know what if I when I give this card to somebody nobody's gonna say your center image is a little bit askew and then what I did do is once I had this uh, stamped and heat embossed, I used one of my circle stitch circle dies to cut that out and a scallop die for a little bit of a border around that. So I made those two. And then with that third piece of pattern paper, I made two mini slimline cards. So what I did with this sheet is I just cut it across the middle so that each piece was three inches by six inches. And then I stamped this silhouette image on both of them. And I put that on the bottom left corner. And then I added some of those little stars on the top right corner and added the sentiment that says, wander often, wonder always. Now, when I was stamping, my paper shifted a little bit in my misty, and you can see a little bit, I don't know if you can see, let me bring it up closer. You can see a little bit of um, a shadow behind the trees, which is fine. It just looks like there's more trees back there. But what I also did was I stamped a few more trees. So I shifted my stamp over a bit and added a few more trees. So if you look at the two, you'll see this one ends with this tree here. And here I added a few more and extended the, the tree line a bit. So I think it turned out really well. I like the way they look. And they were easy to make, just cutting one sheet of pattern paper in half 
adding the silhouette images just with some more of my VersaFine Clear ink, adding a matte layer in black onto my three and a half by six and a half mini slimline card base. So I got four cards done. And I think I finished all four. If I go back and look at the timer I set for myself, I finished all four in less than 30 minutes. So it was pretty quick and easy to make these cards. And quick and easy is my jam. I love being able to finish cards quickly, get them done and feel accomplished with what I have done with my time. Let me know in the comments below which card you like best. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.